Now, what about this? What do dads really get up to when mums aren't around? Well, if you're married to an Olympic gymnast, then the answer is this. Wow. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, can we just see that again? <gasps> that is brilliant. Do you think that's brilliant? So that's Olympic gymnast Max Whitlock, and that's his one-year-old daughter, Willow, and he captioned this on his Instagram post, when my wife isn't looking. So, Stacey, if you just think... Cos I could... Um, before Joe even tells me, <laughs> yeah. I could imagine him doing he that. He is not an Olympic gymnast, no. but he would still <laughs> probably <laughs> attempt something <laughs> like that. With Rex in his arms. Honestly. But is that not what daddies are made for? Yeah. Uh, it, it gives me heart palpitations sometimes. So you even just chucking the kids in the air and catching them, I don't like it. I don't know what it is. It's just that the, not holding them for that one second. In the, I just can't deal with it. But normally kids like it. Yeah, yeah. my oh. Rex loves it. Yeah. Rex don't know no different. I've, I've always been that sort of dad. I, we play this game called logs and I'll get on the floor and I'll roll, roll over like a log and if no one jumps out of the way, I'll roll over them. And we have <laughs> like little, a bowling pin. Yeah, we have wrestling, <laughs> yeah. wrestling fights and I love getting Bit of rough and tumble. Bit of rough and tumble with Rex where I come in and I'll Chuck him in the air and I'll yeah. spin him around. Yeah. And I I'm, not, in, I'm not an Olympian like, and I'm doing I it. I come in on a Friday night and I say to Ruth, what about a bit of rough and tumble? <laughs> you know, I want to throw you in there and I think that's not a good idea. No, we'll not do that. I'm Listen, back, if you, could, if you could pick me up, you should be an Olympic <laughs> gymnast. Yes. I'm telling you if you could. But I do think that, that, that dads have that time with their children. I think it's a good thing, because I definitely had that time with my dad where he would give us things we weren't supposed to have. Yeah. And I remember saying to Jack once, I'd been working in Aim and had him, and he, it was the whole day, and I said... And I did that whole thing, like, remember to give him breakfast? He was, do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> like, do you think I'm not going to give him breakfast? But you do. And when I got home, <laughs> I said to Jack, have you had a nice day with Daddy? Yes. I said, what did you have for breakfast? What did Daddy make you? He went, Maltesers. <laughs> It's the story of my life, Ruth. <laughs> the kids now come home and it's almost like they find it hilarious. Every time he has them, I, the last time that you took them out and you took them on the school Treats. run... Treats. It's yeah. called treats. They, uh, they had a KFC for breakfast, Damon, and they came home like they'd just won a medal. They were like, guess what we had for breakfast? I think KFC right. and a Skittles ice cream for dessert. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? I spend all day trying to shove asparagus down their throat <laughs> and tell them, like, no, we can't have sweets. That's why children this. will love their fathers much yeah. more than their mothers. That's <laughs> why. I'll sit down That's and I'll speak to the kids, and then I was shouldn't, and I'm like, listen, I'll get you your KFC breakfast and your Skittles milkshake, whatever you want. Just don't tell Mum. Whatever you do, don't <gasps> you tell Mum. Isn't that the worst? Don't room. tell. Them. And every time they're like, no, we won't tell Mum. We will. You and can they do, it. don't and they? And they grass me up every yes. single time. Yeah. Because yeah. I am so adamant that they they cannot withhold the truth. And now they they laugh. You know when you look at a child and you go, oh, did you have a nice healthy <laughs> breakfast? And they go. Yeah. But the thing is, kids are very clever because Jack definitely knows, depends what he wants. I mean, he's 18 and grown up now, but when he was younger, oh. if he wanted to go out, a party or sleepover or a school trip or something, he always came to me because yeah. I'm much more relaxed about those things. And Eamon didn't do that much no. growing up in the school troubles. trips. What are the point of those? Yeah, see? <laughs> just, put, no, just put your kids in danger. I you think would, the same. would you bring what? your kid canoeing in Wales? Harry come home the other day and went, Oh, we've got a water, a water adventure weekend yeah. booked in France. I was like, No, you haven't. No. Unless I can come with you. You're totally not agree. No, totally no, agree no. with you. No. no. I know what I was like as a kid. But right? if and Jack, I know my wants, kids if are the Jack same. wants something that's way too expensive, I would absolutely say, yes, put it on your Christmas list, wait till your birthday, save up, you pay half. Him. What do you want, son? What colours? Yeah. Do you want all three colours? What am I talking You're about? You're a long time dead. What am I talking about? Man United kits. Kit. <laughs> that's Football right, because they go out they go out of fashion so quickly. <laughs> You're indulging your kids so into he your knows. Passion, didn't you? He knows who to but ask. Our Jack doesn't say to us, I would like or could I have? He says, oh, isn't that nice? I need. I really I need. need he this. looks. Daddy, I need the new kit. And you fell for it every time. <laughs> look at you, big so softy. Well, Can I just say? I mean, we're talking about uh, Max Whitlock there, but we would say don't try that at home. He is an Olympic gymnast, yeah. after all, and his daughter was absolutely safe and fine.